Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new and approved Noodle Factory Production Plant version 1.1. The old one used to be able to make pallets of dry noodles with a couple of ingredients. I do believe it took barley, wheat and water. And this one is capable of making three different products. It makes the dry noodles like it did before, plus it makes canned noodles and canned homogenized milk. Now the file size for this is 51 megabytes. So what we're going to do guys, I'm going to discuss a few things regarding this mod. We'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs. Then we're going to test it out and see just how this works. So let's get started. Okay, so the new and approved Noodle Factory. Now you can see it looks just like the other one, except we have three different outputs here. We have the canned noodles, dry noodles, and the homogenized milk. It will take a couple of more different ingredients. We need barley, wheat, soybean, and corn. And you're going to put water in the side there. I do believe it holds 40,000 liters of each. So we'll get started and set this up as soon as I take you over to the shop. Now there is no errors in the log. You'll be happy to know that. But I did have one thing go wrong with, for me. And I will show you that momentarily. Uh, let's see. Yes, it's under placeables. All the way over to the end. Pretty close to the end. There it is right there. Okay, the fabric noodles. Price in the shop is $30,000 with a $10 a day maintenance fee. And there's your sales point right there. It's only $1 and that's where you're going to sell all your finished product. So let's go back and we'll start filling this up, but we'll take a little look around. I actually went and got a basketball and left it here, but I saved it and now it's gone. But it does work. Yep. A nice animation there on the uh, windmill so the thing that I was having problems with I put barley in there before I put the corn in and for some reason it registered as corn and then automatically you would think well if I put the corn in it's gonna register as barley no I couldn't put the barley in but the, my second time around I put the corn in first and it registered as corn but the first time it registered the barley registered as corn if that makes any sense it doesn't but uh it must have been a little glitch with it but just remember to put your corn in before your barley i would recommend that anyway we have all our ingredients up over here we'll start this up and start with our soybean now another thing with this guys is if you use the last one you'll know that this trigger here is very very sensitive you got to be right in the right spot to dump this off I find it best just to back up to it rather than drive across it. I have better luck. Because even this way I'm going to have to attempt it a couple of times. But before it, yeah, going across it, it was almost impossible. So just bear with me and we'll get this in there. There we go. That was a luck. Okay, you can see the soybean going in there. I do believe that's 40,000 liters. Let's check it out. Yes, it is. Okay. So next up, grab our next ingredient here. So you don't have to put any pallets in here. Quickly take you over here. There is no screen, but when you come up close to the building and press F1, there it is. Barley, wheat, corn, and water. So maize is corn and waster is water. Okay, so what's next? This is the wheat. We could put that in next. Now I did leave one of my trucks, my water tanker over there by the uh, trigger so that might have messed it up I'm not sure but I don't see any errors coming up in the log and my second attempt I was able to fill this up so a little frustrating but it does work and these triggers you'll just have to be a little patient with them because they are there's a sweet spot and it's not just anywhere over the grate see there I'm pressing it there and it's not working so what I do is I try the side the middle and then the other side and usually it'll catch just watch for your trigger to pop up see it's being a little cranky this one okay let's try this again go over to the side a little bit here we go okay make sure that's going in as wheat yes it is 40,000 liters good okay get this guy out of the way and we'll make sure we put our corn in next so that doesn't do that again so yeah the barley the barley registered as corn so put your corn in first 
Just a heads up, just in case, guys. I don't want you to run into that same problem. Because I was trying everything. So let's try this here. Now you can try driving straight across that, but I have better luck doing it from this angle. There we go. Now is that going in as corn? Yes it is. Maize is corn. Good, good. Okay, I'm going to put my water in next. And then I'll put the uh, burley in as the last thing. Okay, let's jump in our water tanker here and bring them on over. So yeah, this is a better, bit of a better setup. At least you get three products now instead of one. But you will need a lift to uh, pick up your pallets. You can drive by with an auto load trailer, but I'd be kind of uh, I kind of watch that because sometimes you'll find that the triggers won't reset. Go on in, okay. Now I'll just bring the other tipper over, but I won't dump it in yet. Yeah, if you if you auto load right from the trigger, sometimes the triggers won't reset, and uh, it's stuck. It won't. The factory won't start up again until you restart it. So just keep that in mind as well. So here is our barley, our last ingredient. So it takes five different resources: wheat, barley, corn, soybean, and water. Okay, he should be emptied now or close to it. It's going to be 40,000 liters, I do believe. There we go. Okay, I just want to check that and see if it is 40,000. It is indeed. Okay, last thing is our barley. Get a little bit of lag here, but just because I got so much going on over here. Okay, you. Let's not disappoint. Go right on in there for me. Yeah, I don't know if it was a glitch or what was going on, but oh, look at that. So like I said, guys, just uh, try to back in there. You will have better luck. So let's look at that one last time. We should have 40,000 liters of each. Yes, indeed. Okay, so I'm looking at the clock right now. It's 1422. I'm going to write that down because I am going to be speeding up time, and I want to see how long it takes to make a pallet. So let's go 120. And I do believe these go up to 4,000 liters. So there's what the product looks like. There is our canned noodles. There is our regular noodles. Mr. Noodles. And there's our homog homogenized milk. It's in a big old keg. So that's pretty neat. So as soon as that is full, I will back off time a little bit. Get rid of my speed mod here. Clear my screen. Straps are on you'll hear it stop. Okay, there. Let's bring my screen back up. Okay, 1536 was the finishing time. It's one hour and 14 minutes for that to uh, finish. So that is not bad. An hour and 14 in-game in time minutes to get that going. Okay, let's pull this guy out of the way and we'll bring over a trusty forklift and start clearing the scales. So right now, I'm going to go back over to the shop so we can lay down a, a cell trigger here. There is our, no, that's not it. It's actually this one right here. You can see the milk and the uh, dry and wet noodles. Let's set this guy up. Let's put him on right there. Looks great. Okay. So where are you, Mr. Forklift? There you are. Okay, so let's see what we get for these. I'm not going to clear my HUD because I won't get a good indication of what that brings in. Okay, we'll try our wet noodles first. So this is going to be approximate price. You know how the prices vary. Usually your first pallet you get the most, but sometimes you can get more than that later on. Okay, let's see. Okay, 
Okay, there's some big cases of soup. Okay, 5,123. Let me write that down. 5,123, because I like to put that down in the description to give everybody an idea what to expect in a round. Okay, next. These are Mr. Noodles, or Dry Noodles. Okay, you're going to be like that, are you? to my forks here. Let me straighten that out. There we go. It's a little better. Okay. Let's see what we get for these. Now you would think we'd get more for the canned stuff, but you never know. They sell that product here, actually. Where I live. And, uh... They're fairly cheap. <laughs> they're only about 32 cents for one little package. So you wouldn't think you'd get all that much, but you know you're going to get in the thousands. Nice packaging on that as well. Five thousand nine hundred forty-nine. That was more than the last one. Five nine four nine. Okay. Next up is our canned milk. So yeah, it only costs one dollar to lay that sales trigger down. You can lay that wherever you want. I always try to put it by a shop or by some kind of diner or store just to make it look like it's a customer waiting for an order. Okay, so homogenized milk. Kind of weird that you get milk from grain, but whatever, hey, whatever works. So we will do this and we'll do it one more time see the comparison in prices here. All these triggers seem to be a little bit off the ground there for some reason, but hey, as long as it sells, it's all that matters. Is that got a little thing on it? Like a gauge showing? I can see the money going up, so I know it's being sold. I thought that might have been a little gauge showing how much was in the barrel. Okay, what we get? Oh, not much for that. 3318. 3318 dollars. That was three eighteen. Okay. So let's start up this process again. So let's watch our time now. Fifteen forty one. Give it give or take a minute or two. And we'll speed up time. One twenty. That's where I brought the basketball so I could shoot some hoops while I was waiting. Little picture on the side of them there loading up the boxes. So, got all kinds of ingredient left. Look, that's our second run, and they held 40,000. It's only down to 37.7 now. So, not bad at all. But you'll have to come back to check this from time to time because it's not auto sell. Okay, listen. Factory's down. See, there's no display on this. So you can't, uh, usually when the display goes out, the uh, it's ready. They should make it so the windmill stops turning. Noodle Company World Kitchen. Okay, let's try this again, guys, and see what we get. Probably a little less, but I've seen times where you actually got more the second time around. Boxes look dirty on the top. Huh. Okay, let's see. I wish they'd label these uh, these cell points so you can tell which is which. Because if you have a few of them on the map, they're going to get mixed up after a while. Should show a little pack of noodles in the middle, or even an N in the middle would be cool. Nice pack, Nice packaging, though. I like that. There's some big, big cases. Probably those family size cans. 5,122. That's more than we got. No. Yes, it is. 5,122. We actually got $1 less this time around. So that's not bad. 
First time we got 51.23, this time we got 51.22. Oh, I want to scratch the boss's car. Okay, Mr. Noodles, let's see what we get for this. Okay, watch the price. 5,886. Okay, the first time we got 5,949. So that's a little less. Not quite a hundred dollars less, so that's not too bad. It's seventy dollars less for the second pallet. And we got our homogenized milk. So let's try this. Our last pallet. I mean, you do get a, a pretty good profit from this. It looks like one of my forks didn't quite catch the, uh, the hole in the pallet. Okay, what we got? 3, 2, 8, oh, that's definitely less. First time we got 3,318, this time we got 3,280. So, there you have it, guys. Pretty cool little company there. Besides the fact you got to put your uh, ingredients in in a certain order, and that trigger is very touchy. You might have better luck with it than I did, but that was the new and approved Noodle Factory production plant version 1.1. File size is 51 megabytes. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you can leave a like on your way out. And if you're new to the channel, guys, why don't you go ahead and click on next right there in the middle of your screen and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and let's plays every other day plus my patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help and contribute to a smaller channel it would really help out so until next time take care and we'll see you all in the next one